Yo, yo, yo. How are our levels, boys? Yeah. Good. Yeah, I can hear you guys. I can hear you guys better than I can hear myself. All right, anyway, my name is Regan Thompson. To my right is Dylan Connell. To his right, which is also (laughs) included in my right, is Keaton Mitchell. We are all wearing headphones. There is three microphones. This is a podcast. It's the Syndicate podcast. And we are answering questions that were asked on my Instagram post where I guaranteed that any comments would be brought up as a topic on the podcast. Um, The homie, Benny Wop, I think. Is that... Benny Wop, that is correct, yep. Wop, Wop. What did he ask, Dylan? He asked, thoughts on uh, content creators and scootering, how should and shouldn't they go about? So it's very interesting. It's a very cool question. I didn't expect anyone to... You know, ask that, but yeah. he's setting himself up. Yeah, setting himself up. All right. Well, I think I'm just going to start. I think there's like different paths you can choose as a content creator. There's, you know, the cringy clickbait. You know, like your titles have nothing to do with your videos, and we've seen a lot of examples of that. I'm sure mm. everyone has clicked on a video expecting to see a sick triple backflip down a 50 stair, and it was a tail whip down a two set. I can't say I've ever seen a video that said sick triple backflip <laughs> yeah. down. I've yeah, yeah. That, one. That, that was very, very exaggerated. But I do get what you mean, how they're like, huge fight, cops called. Yeah. And like there's yeah. like a three-second section of the video where a dude like nearly got in a fight. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So yeah, there's there's, there's that, that route. Yeah. Or there you can Which be... Is legit? That's, is that I, I, don't, I don't think it's very legit. Yeah. Honest way to make content. I think it I just... Agree. It gives scootering a, a bad name. But there's also... You know, skateboarders and skate vloggers and oh yeah, it gives it gives that person yeah, it a bad name. <laughs> it's yeah, not the, it doesn't yeah. reflect. But I mean, if if I was an outsider, if every did it, it might reflect scootering. If I was an outsider, you know, like obviously those types of videos get a lot of views, and like someone that doesn't scooter might look at that and be like, oh, this is what scootering is. So that's what I mean when it yeah. reflects badly on scooters, just from the outside eye that might not know what we're actually about, yeah. like our core values. Um, so there's that route, which I don't think is very legit. Which I think, I've just got to say, the funniest thing ever is when the title is like that and then it has like 50 views. Yeah, oh, it's like that is pretty shit. funny. You tried, to, yeah. <laughs> you tried to, you thought your diabolical plan yeah. of <laughs> lying to everyone was going to work and you got 50 views. Like yeah. you might as well have just told the truth in your title. Yeah. yeah. Um, sorry. Yeah, there's that route, which I don't think is very honest and legit, and I don't Mm. think it looks good upon the creator or, like, upon scootering. I just think there's not really much place for it. And I think, as well, you start to become irrelevant doing that because people get over your videos. Like, you get to this point where there's a core fan base that just expects your titles to be bullshit and will still watch your stuff. Yeah. But, like, once a lot of people just knows that your videos don't include anything like that, then they're just not going to watch your stuff. Or they just watch it anyway because they know that you actually do have sick content and they do yeah. want to watch it and they just go, ah, he's just doing his thing. With yeah. The I'll be honest, I watch, content. like, there's a skater that I watch called Dan Corrigan and he, like, you know, because he, he would post every day and his videos are, like, all about skateboarding. You know, there's no, like, um, he doesn't do anything Non-skating. for the sake of a video. Yeah. He just films himself going out and skating and having yeah. sessions. But, he always has this like a little bit of a clickbaity title, mm. but he addresses it in every like he addresses it quite a bit, and he's open and honest about it. But you know, I was happy to watch. Mm. I knew that it would be exaggerated. I knew it wouldn't be as yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Wild it's like, what am I going to title it? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to title it like Could the most extreme thing that happened that day, which was yeah. a fight. Like you know, yeah, like you said, like a fight out, broke out. Fun. Yeah, and it's like that may have been thirty seconds of the eight minute video. But that's the most exciting thing that happened, and yeah. he's like, "Well, that's, that's what I'm gonna." That's do. fair. That, that's not, yeah, not clickbait. But it's still like it's he could have called it "day skating number," yeah, and then the date of yeah. that day. You know, it's it just like a weird thing other. that's happened, and it's like yeah. it's kind of like all capitals yeah. and like you, nobody needs all, all capitals. capitals. Spelled a man. It's like, are you MF shouting Doom your? Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, are you shouting your title at me? Like, yeah, <laughs> but because because it, yes, you know. They are. Because it would have happened, it would have slowly started to happen. Like people being like, no, I want mine to be like really, Mm. you know, I want people to 
click my video, I'm going to go all capitals. And now everybody does it regardless of how intense the video is or anything like that. It's just become and a standard. Now, now I think those Let's videos... content that is like really short, lowercase... Catch that's what it. I was gonna say. <laughs> it's like that's the one that will stand out yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like went scooter ride. <laughs> yeah, out scootering and no fight happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um. But yeah. So like and like. Yeah. I was gonna, just gonna say adding on. You were highlighting that type of content. Yeah. The types. Yep. Really, your content creators, also yourself, making an amazing full length video part for video part upgrading. Mid-length. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Even well, the instas that we create and that other people create, uh, they're you know content creators. So you know, th- but I, th- uh, Benny Wop is specifically YouTubing, YouTube. yeah. um, trying to build a following, and I would assume trying to like make a living off his yeah. passion scootering. That's no no secret. Like, I think he's asking a more specific question mm-hmm. um if i were to use him as an example i have come across your videos uh, a couple times and watched them um here and there never been a personally a, a massive fan it's not the type of content that i consume i don't think i'm also i don't think i'm your target audience my i'm the target audience of native apple orchard yeah, parish made. That's yeah. that's the type yeah. of scooter content I'm holding out for. If you want one minute, five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, thirty minutes of my day, that's where it's going to go. Um, not not to yeah. That anyway. Um, I looked on your YouTube channel, and I filtered it to most viewed. And the obviously there's some data in here that is not dynamic, such as how long the certain videos have been out for. But there was a good mix where out of, you know, your most viewed videos and your least viewed videos, some of them are from 11 months ago. Some of them are from the same um, week. So some of his videos do a lot better than others. And, and it's not just a case of how long it's been on his video YouTube yeah. channels, how many views it's got. Whereas some YouTubers, you can just look and you look at their 10 most biggest videos and they are their 10 oldest yeah. like videos because yeah. they were the ones that blew up and started it all and stuff like that. Anyway, what I was going to get to with yours is the top three, I think it were, were all reviews on types of scooter parts these five complete scooters are this sort of because you were adding value to people's lives when they watched that video. Yeah. It might have been in a bit of a um, younger demographic style of doing it, c- fancy, colourful thumbnail and um, uh, the way they talk and stuff like that is a bit, you know, again, not, not something I would watch, but that's, uh, I think, a good way of going about it. You look at look at your stats, and you know. So I'm I'm implying that you're trying to do something, trying to get views, trying to build a following, trying to make a living. Look at your stats. What's working for you? That's working for you. That's a really good way to go. Um, but only if you enjoy that. Yeah. If you enjoyed making those videos, and you could see yourself making those videos for five years time. And even in five years' time, not make any money off it, but still look at it and and be like, I had so much fun, I loved doing this, even though I didn't make money off it. Then you're on to something, and that's what I think you should be focusing on in it. That that was just my quick like little look at it, like, all right, what's it going for? What's working? But in the same sense, like you know, the same reason, you know, we've started businesses as much as it's because we're passionate about it and all of that, it's like definitely there's the element of wanting to make a living. Mm. Um, uh, you know, so what do you do when the, the all of everything that you're passionate about is not bringing in the income, but, you know, writing grip tape made out of yeah, gummy yeah, worms. Yeah. yeah like is. is well, you know. this is the thing. In his case, it's not. Yeah. I looked at his videos yeah. and the more genuine 
videos mm. seem to do better. Yeah. Ones that like add value. Fantasy. Yeah, there is some other... See, someone like Benny or anyone in, especially in scootering, there's a lot of people trying to do it and then there's a s- few people that have, like, done it quite well and uh, and have done... would be kind of what you're... That's the view you're competing for. Yeah. So that's... A, and, you, and you're starting with a f- following of... Um, a thousand subs or whatever compared to what they've already got from the years they've been doing it. It's a, uh, but I guess what this is turned into more career advice than the the question is like, what's your oh no, what's your thoughts on it and what's the way to go about it? It yeah. depends if what's the way to go about it. Well, it depends if you are you just trying to have fun. If so, just do the make content that you love. Yeah, like uh, the reason I'm here right now is because I've been listening to podcasts lately and just loving the podcast and I was going to explode if we <laughs> didn't do this today. I'm yeah. not Sunday 6 p.m. <laughs> I told these dudes like a day ago, 2 days ago, less than 48 hours notice that I rented this space only 3 days ago. <laughs> and I didn't rent it to do a podcast, I rented it to set up an office to do work and then I was like, "Oh, podcast here and and i just exploded of like i nearly exploded like if if you guys bailed today i was gonna be so sad like because i am just ex- about to explode with wanting to talk about scooter parts yeah and You're scooter videos and scooter the scooter industry and yeah. yeah so whether i'm podcasting or this is a little bit easier than going out and riding and filming and stuff like that. Still love doing that and want to do that a lot more than I do. Um, but this is just like, I just cannot not do this. So, you know, your content, whatever you cannot not do, like <laughs> what's yep. the thing where you just, I have to freaking do this. Yep. Like Something I was thinking about also is like, there's two ways of going or like there's, I suppose there's two different types of content creators, um, in my opinion. Yep. There's like people who want to be informative, and there are people who want to entertain. Yeah, and it's I think in my opinion it's just unfortunate, or it feels unfortunate. They both want to get big followings and make money, so that doesn't yeah. have to be a an if or that. The informative and the entertaining ones. We're uh, uh, implying that that's a goal of both of these people: the informer and the entertainer. Yeah, well, like so, I would have said. Because I was trying to do yeah. YouTube, or at least I wanted to, and I dabbled in it a little bit. Mm. And Benny, I was watching your videos for inspiration, or just like seeing the like the way that he went about it. And, yeah, you know all that. Someone so, else who's on the same grind. Yeah, yep. <clears throat> and like not like you know, already got millions of subs and all of that kind of stuff. Like yeah. see what somebody else who's trying Someone to start. Someone else, small time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like with what I was doing, it was like I had to be giving something you know it had to be informative it had to be a tutorial or it had to be you know something along those lines yeah um and because i just am passionate about informing scooter riders of Mm. different things um and like yeah spreading that side of it not once did it cross my mind that i wanted to do like a a video for the sake of entertaining people yeah you need to have a purpose yeah yeah and so, like, that's why I say that I feel like there's that definition, or at least for me, because I feel like I wanted to inform, and I see a lot of people wanting to entertain. And in my opinion, it's unfortunate when these entertainers are a part of the scootering community because it brings light to the scootering community, not the core awesome parts of the sport, but all of the, you know, funny, yeah. entertaining side of it. And I just think, like... The gummy worm grip tape. Yeah, and I, I yeah. think that's why, like, a lot of the people a part of like the core scene of scootering can hate on those people because it's like, oh, that's not what we want the public to see. Mm. We want the public to see Apple yeah. Watch, mm. you know? But instead they're digesting all of this yeah. kid stuff. Like Claudius Vitesse, I look at Claudius as like the Wiggles. Yeah. Like yeah. That, the Wiggles he's no more scootering. than the Wiggles to me. Yeah. Like he's just an entertainer for kids, an actor, uh, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, so there's no respect to that, but it just like sucks that it brings that, attention Did that you say type there's of no attention? respect or no disrespect to that no no disrespect yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, sorry no disrespect to yeah. that from me yeah yeah, yeah. You the know? thing that i really dislike about you know the content being targeted to kids that don't know better 
you know, they want to like grow up and they aspire to be like these content creators and they're not getting, you know, like when I was a kid, I was watching Cody Donovan. I was watching mm. the Maggie team. Like I was watching legit scootering videos. Mm. And I just fear that kids just, you know, looking up to these content creators, they're not going to carry on the like, damn, I want to make a video part, you know, yeah. type attitude yeah. like with them, you know. 100%. Yeah. It's not, they're not being, they're not being inspired to do what we think is the sick path for them. But also, a funny thing is, I don't know if it's a made up stat or not. I think it was like Gary Vee or someone who said it. 90% of kids under 12 interviewed in school asked, What do you want to be when you grow up? And they want to be YouTubers. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it's crazy. Damn, that's in a way that's cool <coughs> to me because I look at someone like Kai, who is a YouTuber. And I'm like, bro, you're an astronaut. Yeah. These kids want to be you when you grow He's up. He's like, like an actor. Like y- you're, what you're doing for a living is what, he, like, yeah, 90% or so. And yeah. again, the statistic might be actually made up. I'm not too sure. I'd have to verify it. But yeah. I'm pretty sure we could all agree a lot of kids yeah, for sure. want to do that as a for career. Sure. Yeah. It's like um, there is a world where we're coming into where wealth creation might be a bit easier and we may get to a point where entertaining each other is a way bigger career opportunity. So, you know, where it's not just 1% of all YouTubers actually generate enough revenue to off entertaining others that they can live off but like a you know if as more things like hospitals and bus drivers and rubbish become automated and stuff yeah. like that and more wealth is created and people have more free time and we create entertainment for each other that that's talked about i don't know in, about that though because like in some i don't know circles, again i don't yeah. know the stat i'm just saying that's talked about in some circles anyway right. yeah yeah I don't know the stat, but like copious amounts of hours are uploaded to YouTube like every second. Like hours mm, yeah. of yeah, yeah, yeah. every second is uploaded to Same YouTube. Same podcast, bro. There's like a crazy stat about how for a bazillion, gazillion years, not every podcast could be listened to. Yeah. Like there's that much. Yeah, and there are more podcast there. creators than podcast listeners. listeners. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. But like, so it's hard for me to imagine that, you know? Yeah. Um, being oh, the what, case. Uh, what the case where people are actually yeah, like making a money majority off majority of people stuff. are yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, making yeah. It. Yeah. but like so I, I was just throwing it out there as a maybe in 10 years time yeah. these 12 year olds 15 year olds looking up to someone making this kind of content that that will be a lot normaler and a career path and yeah. stuff like, well yeah. I know you know that everything is going a little bit more freelance mm. it's Naval yeah <laughs> Uh, you know, everybody's starting to work for themselves in ways like Airtasker and, yep. you know, Uber and all of these things. And I see, like, the skater that I was talking about before, Dan Corrigan, mm. he just skates and he just films himself and he's a pro skater for Powell. Mm. And, um, yeah, he makes a, a decent living. And, he, you know, like, I can imagine anybody, like, I mean, actually Mark Williams does it. Mm. You know, he's on Native. He's a pro- professional writer, but he's got a YouTube and he just films himself and... He, you know, I'm not sure if he's making any money yet, mm. but it's like every professional the scooter rider could just film themselves on YouTube. He loves it. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like Devin, you know, Chidi, all these dudes, like they could just film themselves every day, scooter, yeah. put it on YouTube. All of those views that they would get on Instagram, they could get on YouTube. Yeah. yeah and yeah. they would get paid for it. Yeah. Like it's just like I see that as a the guy from Wine Club says that a lot i just hear him say it in so many yeah. episodes he's yeah, like why do. aren't all you skaters like making yeah. your youtube channel? exactly it's like yeah. but some just don't want to yeah no for sure and that, that and that's yeah. fair but what i'm yeah. saying is like man imagine if you know i'll name drop Dalf instead yeah. of him doing all of those videos that you know i mean he got a lot of love for but he got a lot of hate for instead of doing all of those he just documented his like pure scootering just sessions like you know, I, I actually loved his videos at the start because it was that. Yeah, it was yeah, pure yeah. scootering, not even, yeah. no, no talking. Yeah. Just GoPro on his chest and I was just watching him mob yeah. through the streets. He probably wouldn't have got to the level he... For sure. Maybe but by now he would. 
well, the compounding he, effect of doing that from then till now. He probably made a lot yeah. off of that, but he could have made a decent amount and done yeah, yeah. just the thing that he, I'm not saying he didn't want to do that, you know, but just the stuff that he was truly like passionate about at that time, which was scootering. Yeah. It, from my perspective, it looks like he got caught up by the money and the, yeah. and the fame. And so he started doing things that he wouldn't normally do. So I'm, I'm assuming he's not passionate about those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like dressing up as gotcha, little pump yeah. and all that stuff, yep. you know. I'm assuming yep. he's not passionate about that and he wasn't at the time, but he did it for the views. Yeah, yeah, They'd yeah. almost like see it as a job instead yeah. of like something they want to be doing. Yeah. yeah, and I just feel like, yeah, there's ways, especially, it's, and you know, I'm talking about the talented writers here as well. It's yeah. like not anybody could just start a YouTube channel and yeah, document yeah. their writing. And they're trying board heels on. Maybe they could though. Maybe. This is this is a thing we where. We still can start a YouTube and document your writing no matter what your school level is, but depending on if you're going to make much money from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, and that's where in regards to content creation and how should you go about it, what I was kind of getting to before by saying if you did it, hardcore for the next five years and didn't make a cent from it would you still be absolutely stoked that you did it yeah that's you i think you have to feel like that about it yeah in order to do it yeah. if you try and create content or like create content to make a living of some stuff like that and and don't feel that passionate about loving it that much you well, you run the risk of doing it and not making money from it, and then you're fucked. Mm -hmm. You you know, so sure. you have to love it so that that part of it's worth it. Yeah, if, the, exactly. if you don't get the the other part, which I'm sure Benny does. Um, yeah. Do you have anything you want to put in there? I keep I I got another part of uh, Benny specific I want to bring up about the shoes. Um. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, I remember you talking about that. Uh, yeah, not really. Hey, I think that's pretty much it. Just, like, do what you want to do. Like, I personally want to say I don't fucking care about, like, what content you put out. I'm either going to watch it or not watch it. Yeah, like, it doesn't phase you. If you're yeah, like, I used to hate on people because they're making this type of content, but, like, the only person I was, like, you know, mistreating was myself because, like, it doesn't affect me at all. Yeah. Like, I was just, like... Fueling this, like, hatred and rage for people like, you know, Jack and Wes for doing what they're doing when I could just choose not to watch it. Yeah. You know, but so... Yeah. say, in my, from, in my opinion, there's a, you know, a bigger picture. And it's like, for me, it's like, yeah, I don't have to watch that. But just knowing that that's, like... That, part that's of scooting bringing and scooter that's riders there, yeah. in and scooter riders are taking that mentality on and yeah. the sport the culture mm. you know the art that i am so passionate about mm. could lose the like the core of what i am passionate about it for and the authenticity yeah um yeah i agree with that yeah. i think that's what did anger me but like right now there's just like two different types of people in scootering and i think like the core culture is just going to continue to inspire some people and same with the vlogging i yeah. think like we're at this like you know, age where it's like with anything, like there's always vloggers and people that are going to put their own cringy twist on whatever it may be, you know, skateboarding, BMX, you know, other sports that aren't even action sports, you know. So I think we're just at this yeah. internet age where it doesn't really matter. Like anything it's is not, infiltrated by Yeah, it's, it's not everything. just scootering. There's like yeah. just this big thing right now where it's like, well, literally, we're like, well, let's make this podcast like yeah. where we put out this stuff to people who watch like to us it's like yeah this is sick but to anyone else it, it could it could just be like oh wow you you're just like doing the same thing that, but as all these other people but also there's like that short form stuff is really where I'm like oh like um not and I'm not a hater of like TikTok or even yeah. like reels and stuff like that. I've adapted to putting my Insta clips up like as reels um, just because I'm like, oh, I'm putting this on Instagram for all the people to see. Yeah. If reels are where they get seen more, I don't even think you can post a video and it not be a reel now. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like, yeah. I'm, not I'm not sure up to it enough to, <laughs> to look or into it enough to care. Maybe I should. But, um, you know, TikTok, there's like people who... You know, and obviously this is like people who are 
trying to make it on TikTok. Yeah. And yeah. Where if someone is into bowling, they're probably going to try and make it in yeah. TikTok in bowling. Yeah. If they're into scootering, they're probably going to try and make it on TikTok in scoot. You know, it's yeah. like mm, it's yeah. not sc- it's not scootering. No. It's got nothing to do with scootering. Yeah. It's just that some people are scooter riders. It's more yeah. of a picture of like the world, like people want to make it on TikTok or become yep. influencers or become entertainers or sure. um but if I can mm-hmm. the one I wanted to say about the shoes is when I did see your question and I was like all right I'm going to jump on this dude's YouTube channel and just have a quick look and I looked which videos did well and and didn't and ran my quick uh analysis on the content machine that is Benny Wop um I watched one the most clickbaity title that popped up to me, or it might have been the most recent video. So sorry, I'm not sure if I'm uh, throwing shade appropriately or not. But yeah, it was like riding in four thousand dollar shoes, and I was like, "How's this dude got super low views?" No offense, but four thousand dollar shoes, mm. like should. And then I was like, "Has he bought four thousand dollar shoes?" to make a video hoping that it would blow up and then here's this video and it's only got a couple hundred views. I was like, oh, it's like shit, that's what you get for buying $4,000 shoes. But no, of course, you clickbaited me, you motherfucker. (laughs) (laughs) (sighs) And I was just like, uh, I think you're a sick dude and, yeah, I love that you're trying to make – not trying to make something of yourself, that you are making something of yourself in scootering. Oh, you know, I back it, I back you. Um, but that, I was just like, that's lame. Like, you, sorry, I didn't even get to the point. They obviously weren't the $4,000 shoes. You got like a minute or two into the video and it's like, obviously these are not $4,000 shoes. I bought $50 fake shoes uh, online. How to not? go how to and how to not go about creating content that's how not to that's it's just kind of like you said i went riding in four thousand dollar shoes and then you said obviously i didn't it's like well no your title said you did You're it's lying. not even it's exaggerated lying. it's just like, not true yeah, yeah, yeah you know i don't so you know f- going forward my advice choose to take it or not like yeah. don't and lie i've actually just, seen yeah. that i've actually seen that exact thing quite a lot recently the, the, it's not even clickbait. It's like, yeah, it's not exaggeration. It's blatant lies. Yeah. I've actually seen that quite a bit. Like, I'll it, go and not dudes, watch more videos. I respected, like, another skater, John Hill. Yeah. You know, amazing guy. But, like, yeah, literally captions are, it's like, skating in my own, my, like, my signature van shoes. And then he's just, like, painted his, like, you yeah. know, own graphic on his shoes. And it's just like, okay, well, that's. I was interested in hearing the story about you getting on van. You were like, like, "Oh my like, god, wow, something you got a sick good!" Shoe. Like, yeah, yeah, and you know, let down. So it's yeah. like, yeah, I it's, definitely, yeah, four of you, yeah, a- and well, for that, potentially many, yeah, yeah, thousands yeah. Of views. yeah, but, but yeah, that's definitely the not. that's the trade off. It's like that's where you show your true colors, and that's where you you lose people, mm-hmm. and it. Yeah, I think I think it's just, but also I'm like making it a bigger deal than it has to be. We're talking about fucking clickbaity YouTube titles. Doesn't doesn't yeah. really matter. But you asked just like the one we tape. told. Yeah. I said, yeah. yeah. I yeah. think that sort of wraps it up. I, does anyone else have anything to say about the? No, I'm going to send you a package, Benny, of some stuff. Oh yeah. Um, from Syndicate, and I want to see a legit video on it. <laughs> Honest review. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, give the people, you know, I'll hit you up with a package and you make a YouTube video that delivers value to your fans and followers. And shout out Benny because he has placed many orders. I've sent many orders to you, dude. So, man, yeah, definitely shout out Benny. Thank you for the support. 100. Um, yeah. Send you a package. Cool. <laughs>